Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampathi watching Sampath Samfax YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews you can see this is a CR Droid version 9.5 with May 5th 2023 is the latest security patch and the kernel user is 4.14.314 lineage kernel has been used build date you can see May 19th it's the latest build available for Poco X3 and I have some of the results here I will start with this uh, yeah the charging support first you can see here it is not completely supported the fast charging I tried multiple times maybe because of the high percentage I mean whenever it the battery life I mean the battery percentage is low then the fast charging might support I will update in my comment section pinned comment section you can check out but as of now it's not working the fast charging in this particular ROM and CPU throttling test you can see here the maximum is around 189 and average is 152 and minimum is 112 and it's throttled to 71 percent of its max performance of 15 minutes and this is a 100 threat guess guys you can see 100 threat test for this particular uh, ROM the Seadrod 9.5 it's not that great in my opinion CPU throttling but overall experience was good that's just a uh, app results uh, but anyhow that's how it is and one more thing is the Geekbench score you can see single score is 739 and multi score is 1777 and the kernel as I said before 4.14.314 lineage kernel has been used on this Poco X in this Seadrod 9.5 which is quite uh, good and this is the uh, Android benchmark result 360,000 is the score and temperature raise was 1.1 degree Celsius and 2% of battery has been dropped during this testing of this Android benchmark results. Also show you in the app because the Geekbench will not be recorded here but this one has the record of your previously run scores you can see that's how the scores and starting with the dialer you get the typical dialer here. And you can see there is a direct video call feature is available in this room and even call recording feature is also available and it will not announce the other person that you are recording the call that's one more good thing in this particular room and not only that if i go here and search for something as you can see the keyboard experience is very good the key travel i mean the distance between one key to other key is very good such that you can type uh, very good here typing experience is very good that's what i can say the call quality is fine here and the dual stereo speakers are also working fine i haven't ever faced any problems regarding that carrier aggregation support is also there in this particular rom they have added this mui camera you can see here you get all the features it's not a leica one just an anx camera that's what i'm happy with because if you add a leica camera there will be problems uh, some of the features might not work but that is not the case here if you can use any gcam ports my favorite is the ano build gcam what i used to uh, suggest for most of the roms and android auto is also working when if you don't want that you can disable some of the apps for example if you go into here you can change the icon packs also and you can disable the android auto in this seattard 9.5 now coming into drm information again you'll get a level one certification such that you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution and whatsapp and other things are working fine no problem regarding that and again audio effects feature it's they been there from long time you can have them and there are some core changes they have been added the first thing is like uh, again before showing that this all the customization it's available i have been showing this from long time now you can check out my other videos in miscellaneous settings you get unlock ifs count if you want you can enable that even unlimited photo storage and again other things you can see on the screen these things i have been explained from long time now and in the uh, display i think so they have been added this uh, what intensity of the uh, vibration let's check out here yeah sound and vibration vibration and haptics again they have shown in the options let's check this out haptic feedback you can see this one is added in this particular update you can increase or decrease the intensity and the keyboard what i shown is quite handy here this one is added and the mui camera has been added and some of the video call uh, issues has been fixed in this update what they have mentioned and accessibility menu again all the settings are also working fine i have kept the font size and display size here if you want you can make it out according to your preference and again display settings in the sound and vibration again they have mentioned uh, direct sound settings has been added 
headset type and even the preset type they have added plenty of them enable hi-fi audio system we thought you can enable or disable from here these are the quite handy features again, again wallpapers and style you get all the basic settings here uh, app grid themed icons is also working fine app grid you get up to 16 to 10 that's quite fine in my opinion in display again you get minimum and maximum refresh rate 120 i kept both to 120 if you want good battery life you can do that and ambient display is also working fine these are the actual settings and battery life as i said uh battery charging is uh, quite uh, slow here but battery life is going to be very good but initial impressions i can say you might wait for a couple of days then the battery life might get better here and in the system again system profiles has been given into the gestures again system navigation you get a gesture navigation you get all the options like pill length and pill radius options uh, hence you can see the pill radius it's quite interesting in this particular rom these are the things have been observed here and let's see pubg new state what are the graphic settings we get this is the one thing i have noticed in this particular room maybe because of the maintenance of this particular game i don't know but you will get that light of uh, light and 90 fps support here and also some of the other settings has been improved and this is a quick settings panel overall it's a very good custom rom available for poco x that to android 13 base and this is a vanilla build guys while well, flashing uh, use a firmware 14.0.1 global firmware uh, as i recommend that and rom zip file and use the mind j apps latest one and while fla after flashing once you boot into uh, rom i mean the setup uh, frame then you will get option of selecting the network don't do in the given uh, frame go to quick settings panel and enable the wi-fi settings this is the one more bug you will notice once you flash the rom you will end up with setup screen go to quick settings panel and select here internet and select the wi-fi or mobile data from here then it will work that's the one more bug i have noticed and the game is simply not showing here overall it's a very good rom it's been a good rom from long time for poco x3 you can see here and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button down below and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now